It's a wonderful pose from young Mr. Fryer. Morning, Mr. Fryer. It's very early. We can see the breath, which is a key to early. So, good morning. Uh, welcome. We have special guest, as you've seen, Matt Fryer Golf. We are at Formby Hall. Uh, over in Formby on Merseyside and we're on their par 3 course if we have a little look around here it's a lovely day it's freezing cold um, we're on the first tee and we're going to do a little vlog a little nine holes on the short course followed by uh, an afternoon of nine holes on the uh, on the main course um, so this is hors d'oeuvres before the main course Mr Fryer hors d'oeuvres so what are we playing Skins, little skins, yeah. okey doke. Right, so we're on first hole. What's the um, what's 53 yards? 153. Oh, that thing looks very tight onto the front. It does. Seven iron. I'm just gonna this normally goes by 175, but go down on it. Try and play to 160 because you're getting that front bunker to that pin. Death Sienna, I would say. A death bunker. So seven iron. Have a good one. Play well, young man. Just drifting a little bit. That's okay up there, yeah, safe on the right side. First, First swing of the day, it's not bad. I mean, you made a swing, I've made a practice swing, yeah. Uh, I've had three practice swings just to... Uh, three practice swings. Get, me the get the juices flowing. It is beautiful, isn't it? I think you're right, seven iron. I'm going to test out a new ball today while I'm here. I'm going to play two different balls. I'm going to test out the Forte 6 piece apex ball today this one and then I'm, I've got the tall the tall one. one which you're using at the minute I'm going to test this afternoon see how this is Forte and what we uh, what we're going with young Jed right we've got the same I see a little seven iron um, where you've played it there that side of the green probably just let it drift a little bit to the right too much but that's a perfect spot really especially as you say with this flag where it is on that bunker missing it in that um, hell bunker is not the perfect place to be fair so oh, I've pulled it a little bit it's ended up pretty nice, but I pulled it a little bit. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> right, so first impressions of the Forte Apex, pretty nice. It feels pretty good. Um, pulled it a little bit. Pitch mark is just down there, but it stopped pretty sharpish. We've got a fairly short birdie putt, which is good. Mr. Fryer, just a fraction to the right side. Hi, do you want the flag, mate? I'll have it out, please. He wants the flag out. <laughs> so, little breaker on this one. Bobbled a little as it's come through. Oh, he's only tracked it straight in. I've come here to take over, as Conor McGregor would say. <laughs> it looked a little bit good in the air, but then it tracked and just boom, disappeared. As, as we zoomed out and tracked it, it yeah. disappeared. Little Sky Sports esque. Right, so. Half a hole and remain. It's a, it's typical match play, isn't it? And you look at Matt, you just expect everyone to hold everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's the for say, wasn't it? Yeah. So, right. So I don't steal an early skin. Stealing the stealth of an early skin. <laughs> yeah, a little bit from uh, left to right, but I don't think it's going to be a great, great deal. Thank <laughs> you. 
be more a bounce than a break, I think, more than anything else. Oh. There we go. Oh. Birdies. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Half in two seconds. <laughs> now, always a nice start. Hole half in two. Lovely, lovely two, mate. Nice, nice drainer. You can probably hear the noise in the background. We are quite close here to the main road. If we go through the bypass between Liverpool and Formby. So, yards. we've got 94 yards into this flag. This hole is designed on the 17th at Sawgrass. Um, it is, obviously it would have been a, a little wintry and a bit of work going on, they're protecting the main tees, so normally we would be off the tee over there where it's a really, really nice hole, so but tricky, short hole. It's, uh, you always get on it and get a little apprehensive when you end the ball, don't you? When it's just a 90 yard shot. It's a 90 yard shot and you're thinking, no, it should be straightforward. Yeah. Okay. Control the spin key. Yeah. Got it, boys. One. No, no, no. Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Sit, sit. Oh, a little spin action, it's okay, it's safe. Do you see the panic, the panic and fear in there? Really running for the road. <laughs> okay, little, yeah. See, my, pull, my pulley was to my advantage on the last hole. Yeah, safely aboard. <clears throat> okay. Right, I... More than what we, what we were <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I see a, a similar shot. Mainly through the fact that it's quite cold, so we just want to keep it nice and controlled. <laughs> and a little bit of breeze has just started to pick up there as well, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So again, a little controlled shot. Come out hot this morning. That's it. Perfect without the pull this time. Thank you, sir. Right, so here we are on this. We'll have a little look at the Islander. Here it is. So Fryer is just on that edge there. The upslope saved me. The upslope. Pitching into the upslope did save him. <clears throat> Do you want to flag out again, sir? Ready for the drainer? Yes. Okay, so there we go. And again, lots of control on the forte. Quite impressed with its feel, to be fair. Come out, hitting, hitting these soft You've come out for a fight, haven't you? Come out, ready for it. This is it. This is the cobweb dusting. <laughs> <clears throat> First visit to the to Grast Golf this year. How do we see this one, mate? Okay, so he's going to send it off into that little hump that buried whale there on the, the right hand side and then just let it drift down. It should straighten out if he gets the right amount of height on this hump. This could be really good. It's not a bad effort. Almost a bit too much pace on the, the top of the hump. Yeah. Top of the humpy dumpty. It's a bit yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, I don't see a lot in this. Yeah. 
Normally we'd say, look where the water is because it'll break to the water, but we're surrounded by it. <laughs> it is everywhere. <clears throat> I think it might go. Get it. It has gone a little bit from the left, but it was a bit firm. A bit firm. There is still a bit of meat on them pencils, isn't there? Yeah. Especially on these greens. Mm. In winter conditions, it's um, it's definitely one of those things where you you want to see it in. Straight in, no messing. No mess in fry if you want. Back of the hole. There she blows. Solid. Look at that man there. That was very inside of the Very generous from Generai. Have you noticed they've actually uh, changed the name of the course now as well? They have changed it. Let's just get a, the Woody a zoom. Dunes. Yes. The Woodhay Dunes. What a nice name. It is. Do you know it's named after? We'll see it in a little bit. There's a. Uh, there's an old, it looks like sort of farmy house over there, which you might be able to see. We'll see it as we pass later. And that is named Woodhay, believe it or not. And that's why the rename, the Woodhay Dunes, has come from it, because they've carved that a little dune-like landscape for these holes. So, knowledge bomb drop. Bit of knowledge bomb drop. <laughs> right, we are on the third hole. Um, we have a roly roly over, three skins available here. Um, but please comment below if that's the smallest mat you've ever seen. Um, I'm just wondering whether or not Fryer will be able to take his stand to that, his feet being on the edges of it. I'll be all right. Just a little Narrow feet. Little, little shuffle in. So that's part one, this, isn't it? This is to end part one. Are we going to have we'll some skins, skins in? Rich skins or roly poly over. Um, nice hole again over the water. 155. 155 is the number there from Matt. Once we go over the water there, you can see it just raises up towards the green, protected by a couple of bunkers which you really want to avoid. Yeah. Um, they're, they're very deep and difficult to um, extract from. Nice little hole, love the look of this hole as well. Little bridge over there, bridge, o bridge over the River Kwai. <laughs> Um, right, oh, what? I've got an eight tire. Okay. The wind's off the right, isn't it? So it is. Okay. It's a beautiful strike, sir. It's just sort of stayed out a little. Yeah, it's on the right. Yeah, just wind didn't bring it back in. It's on the right side of the green. Yeah. Nice strike, Squire. Yeah. What can the jet do now? Almost feels a little bit back into there as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you know what? I'm gonna change of tactic. I'm gonna hit a little down seven if I can get it out of the bag. Wrestles it out of the bag. <clears throat> it's probably the only way I can get my feet on the mat, to be fair. <clears throat> no. Not good, little toe sidey. Doing the best it can. Yeah, knocked it down but miss hit it and that was um, always the possibility. Oh well, testy off the chippy ground. Not too far off the green. Huh? No, I'm, li I'm literally what yard, uh, yard and a half off the front of the green. Uh, I'm just going to play a little 54. I'm just going to sort of pitch it up there, like release. Yeah. 
So I might move a little bit from the right side. Sounds like I'm thinking about holding that, mate, doesn't it? Almost. Almost sounds like I've been. Pr yeah, I had a vision. I'm practicing and I've had a vision. Did go a little bit as well, didn't it, from the right? Yeah. I think you'll probably be in gimme range, but we're gonna wait till we get up. We're gonna wait till we get up there. Yeah. Thank you, sir. There we go. I'll give you that. Thank you, sir. So uh, Mr. Fryer has this put to take the three skins and part one in a blaze of glory. Two twos in one part. Two twos in one part. Three twos on it. Absolutely ripped. Okay. So I'm gonna change the angle a little. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's actually starting to warm up a little bit. Yeah, I might actually take up for 19 layers, mate. My bank robbers back. <laughs> I've got to say, that's the one thing that I um, can't find. Can't find me, uh, my snood. You got your last job. It's, um, it could well be. Okay. He's left himself a, a tiny little bit on the end of that bone. It was a nice, uh, it's a nice roll as well, actually. That I couldn't have struck it any worse. I <laughs> <laughs> like to hit it and it made me think, oh, deep cell. Mm. Right. Right. So he's gone from a put to, to take the plaudits and the skins to a put to. Save the bacon and roll it over. It's a little bit, it's a bit of growth, so you can always be a bit more aggressive on yeah. the corner with the whole line a bit more to get straight to. Definitely. Just the pace, he's lipped it, he's lipped it, nice. and that's his end of, end of part one. So end of part one, we are up by three skins. Nice, nice start to the year. Yeah. Happy New Year. <laughs> Guys, uh, obviously comments down below as always. Thank you for watching. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed to Matt Fry Golf, subscribe details are in the description below and his social media links as well. Subscribe to me as well if you haven't already, please do so. Um, and stay tuned for part two. Part two will be coming to Matt's channel. So you need to make sure you're subscribed. So, because you're going to be seeing that shortly, um, and then we shall see if I can sustain this good form. We'll uh, see you in part two.